cars that I've built, taken a lot of time and effort, but I always feel just a sense of accomplishment and pride when I've taken something that was completely stock and built it up to something that's making a bunch of power and it's reliable, and that's just one of the, my favorite things. The first steps of the build were obviously planning and understanding what the goal, what the end goal for the car was, and making sure that we went with good high quality parts so that we weren't fighting it uh, you know, on the dyno or later on during the build. Planning with the engine, obviously you're not going to get a better setup engine that's assembled by GM than this GM LSX, and that's great. Uh, we wanted to make a certain amount of power, but as nice as turbos are and as fun as they can be, I wanted something that didn't have lag, and so Procharger was just a very simple of course we're gonna go that route. And then obviously the fuel system, that was the next big thing. From Aeromotive, I've always ran their fuel pumps, never had a single issue with any of their stuff. It's always very high quality. It had the, the fuel supply that we were gonna need. It's amazing how different it is when you buy high quality parts and how easily they install and how easily they adjust when you tune the car. And that is one of the biggest things when planning a build, you need to make sure to get good high quality parts like these. See, this is the actual dyno cell. So I'm just gonna drive this right in here, break the dyno because of all the horsepower we're gonna make. So right now they're just pulling the base tune off of the ECU so we have something to work from. Obviously we're kind of starting from scratch with this, but the base tune makes the engine run, it starts okay with it. So we're gonna pull that, you know, check it out, maybe clean it up a little bit, and then we'll be ready for our first pull. Probably not gonna get too crazy. What do you think, JT? Okay, so the first pull, we're probably gonna run it to a maximum of 5,000 RPM. Keep the timing low, probably about 12 degrees on wide open throttle, just to see how things kind of look, see how the fuel checks out. It should kind of be close um, to where we wanna be, but then we'll, after the first run, we'll have an idea of where we need to go. So the engine we went with is a GM Performance built LSX 376B15. It's kind of a long designation, but I'm going to break it down for you. LSX is just the designation that GM puts on their performance engines. Higher rotating assembly is a forged assembly right from GM. It has a six bolt LSX priority main oiling block, and then the heads are also LSX. It's an LS3 slash L92 port design, but the heads are just a lot beefier and better and built for boost. 376 is for the cubic inches. It's a 6.2 liter, 376 cubic inch V8. And the B15 at the end of the designation of the name is for 15 pounds of boost. They actually rate it to that, and they actually put a warranty on that. The number one reason I went with a Pro Charger is just because there's no lag. And they bolt up like factory. I don't lose anything. I don't lose air conditioning. I don't lose power steering. It bolts right up and it performs better than just about any other power router there's on the market. The head unit that we chose for the Pro Charger setup is a D1SC. Now they rated at 925 horsepower. And we also went with their Stage 2 kit. Their Stage 2 kit comes with a bigger intercooler and their big red race valve and a bunch of T-bolt clamps to make sure that you don't blow off any charge pipe. And I think that it's a match made in heaven. The LSX 376B15 and the D1SC are going to be perfect. It made 643 and a half horsepower to the tire and 671.9 on torque, huge. which is huge. I mean, how much boost did it even see? 10 pounds? Yeah. That is impressive. Um, low timing, I just where we set it at 12 degrees because um, we want to just take it soft. Uh, the fuel was a little bit lean. We're going to fatten that up. But again, we only revved at 5,000 RPM, low timing, it's safe. No knock retard, it was clean. So now it's time to start getting the fuel back in at first. Once we get the fuel in it safe where you want it, then we're gonna bring the timing up and rev this thing to the moon. Dude, That's impressive. I'm so stoked. Base setup was awesome. Braxton did a really good job on getting that base set up. Our first pole was right near where we wanted to be. It exceeded my expectations. 
we saw that our fuel was pretty spot on. Our, our yellow versus the blue line here is actual versus commanded fueling, which was pretty close to what we wanted to see, not too far off. Our timing ramped in higher at the bottom end and then at the you know, boost range, we just flattened out at 12 degrees like right as we had set. And then the pro charger, the dynamic airflow curve here, starts out pretty slow, kind of linear, and then about 4,000 RPM really just takes off up top as a normal pro charger power curve does. boost low, we ran it all the way to 6,500, uh, put a couple degrees of timing in, is that right? Yep, 14. 14 degrees from 12, and wow, wow, 706 horsepower to the tire and 675 on the torque side on low boost on pump gas. I'm, in, I'm very impressed, that's awesome. Well, I did not expect that. I, I, I did not see that coming. I thought maybe be close to six, you know, 580, 590. Um, the, the numbers exceeded my expectations. All right, so everything looked happy here. Our fueling was almost spot on, just a little bit rich, which is totally happy and safe. Timing came in. We have just a little bit of a dip in our timing in the bottom end, which we can actually see in the dyno graph. So we'll put a little bit more in there, help try to smooth out the bottom end power curve. It takes us a couple degrees on boost, so we'll pump a couple more in there and see what it does but fuels there this is this is a happy smooth running motor for sure oh dude this is great That's, uh, I think the numbers just speak for themselves on that. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, so Very. still low boost. We yep. just cleaned up the tape. We just cleaned up the fueling and everything in 735 wheel horsepower and 704 torque to the wheels as well. Low boost, pump gas. 16 degrees timing. 16 degrees of timing. Yeah. I'm just gonna stew on this. This is fantastic. And, and you can daily drive this. Oh yeah, I can daily. The, the highway. Car, the car still has yeah. ice cold air conditioning. It yep. still has power steering. It still has every option. Heated seats, you name it, it's still got it. And that's that's why I wanted to build this car. And still get probably 20. Oh, it'll probably still get 20 miles a Yeah, gallon? 25 to 28. Yeah. Easy. Great. Love it. That does it for us. We're done. That's, you know, the final poll. The final numbers are awesome. I'm super excited. Uh, make sure to stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot more to this car. We're going to be going to ethanol because it's made for flex fuel. We might be swapping a head unit sometime in the future. We don't know. Definitely going to want to swap the pulley and get something that will actually make more boost. But overall, the Pro Charger, the Stage 2 system worked great. Amazing. The engine, I mean, look, the torque curve, I can't, I can't emphasize it enough. Just the amount of power, the amount of torque, how wide it is, it's going to be a rocket ship. And the fuel system, not a single hiccup. We're not even anywhere near running out of fuel, pumps, injectors, none of it. Make sure that you stay tuned right here at LSX Magazine. We are not even close to finished yet.